Hello Minecrafters, so today I'm going to show you how to make an EPC that will sell, buy, and you know all that trading stuff with you. And so what's nice about this is it's not player owned, it can be admin owned and you don't have to really deal with it after it's complete so players can just, you know, come to whatever you have, a little city out in the middle of nowhere and they can just buy and sell from it. So there is a few plugins that you will need to get this actually up and running. So these are citizens, of course. <clears throat> This is what actually gives you NPCs. So this is of course required. And then to actually have traders, you'll need to get this DTL traders mod that is for citizens. Now I'll show you how to actually do all this in game, but these are the things you'll need of course. And vault. Now vault is going to be required because, well, it's kind of required for like green gods and just most of the economy stuff. But now not on this list is Apache Derby, and this is required for Green Gods, so you want to also get that. I have no clue what it does, but get it because I tried it without it and it didn't work. So, <laughs> of course, you got to get it. Anyway, so we can see that we have, oh, let's type that wrong, money. I have 14 emeralds, and it's also right here. Now, that is also what I like about Green Gods. It's actual physical in-game little cash money thing that you can have, so you can actually get raided. And that is awesome. So, now we're going to go ahead and make an NPC. So, once you get everything installed, type NPC create Bob. And there we go. There is Bob. Now let's go and target him, make sure we are targeted. Yep, we're obviously targeted. So, trade trader. Alright, he is now a trader. So you can right click him to exit and enter manager mode. Now what manager mode does is where you can pretty much change the price and the stock of all the items so you want this enabled so enabled okay now you can change it with the stick so we're going to go and get off the stick because now that we have it enabled so what do we want to sell let's see and buy and sell both so hmm let's just sell some basic cobblestone for people who want to build a house so we put cobblestone in here Take another cobblestone and put it in the other stock so you can also buy and sell. Now, the only thing that does suck about setting this up is pretty much this. <laughs> if you want them to buy more stacks, then you're going to have to add little stacks like this. So, you see what I'm saying about that? You're going to have to set each little stack for a price. Now, this stuff is free. So what we want to do is use whatever blocks, there's some different blocks that actually change prices. Whoops. You want to actually first hit price management. So then we can change it with this minecart. And that changes it by 1. Dirt changes it by, whoa, <laughs> 50. Don't want to do that. Bones change it by, well, for some reason price management went off. There we go. Looks like it changes it by 5. So, <clears throat> we'll just want to make this, well, we'll just make it one. I think there's actually a way to make it points, but I'm not sure which one would make, actually make it points. So we'll just have it to one, and the 20 stack, whoa, <laughs> don't want to make it that much. We'll just make it, we'll make it 16, so it'll convince people to buy in large stacks, actually a little bit more, 18 It'll make him want to buy in huge stacks. Now I'm not sure if this is buy or sell. I sometimes get confused about this stuff. So let's see. You bought salt and item. Okay, so this is the buying. So that's good. Whoa! <laughs> uh, now, there is a way to fix that. I think it's... Hmm... I really can't quite remember, but there is a way to fix that, because it multiplies it based on the stack. There's another item you can use, or a command, but it's been a while. So what that means is, we'll just set this back to 1. And what that's going to do is actually make that 20, or it should, based on the stack. So we'll just keep it for that now, you're not really saving any money, but there's a way to fix that. And here's this cell. So we're going to go back into manager mode. 
go to the buy stock or the sell stock more like and we're gonna make this oh, we're gonna make this one now I'm actually not liking that so we're gonna actually gonna change the process why do I keep doing that I'm gonna make it one more so that means this will be two and you can actually sell it for one so he's actually making some really good profit and I like the sound of that so we'll keep that alright so the prices are working so let's say we had a little stock of cobblestone random guy comes in here blah 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 I have 11 emeralds currently so let's sell cobblestone that will sell for 64 okay we need to set his wallet <laughs> so to do that tap in trait no, not trade. Trader wallet set infinite. That's where I did. There we go. So that changes his wallet to infinite, and now we can sell to him without having that problem. So sell. Okay, exit manager mode. <laughs> there we go. And I just sold it. And I didn't gain money something is wrong can I buy it something is really wrong <clears throat> okay so that took me a second to figure out I was actually confused of why I was not getting money here but I typed in money and I actually had money and then I remembered that I had a vault somewhere and it was this so my my money actually went to this. Now this doesn't mean it's protected, but you can protect it with you know like World Guard or LWC and all that stuff, and you can protect chests. But you can actually set your vault, and so wherever it'll be, like if you have Townie and all that, you have like a whole separate location, and it'll automatically go to your vault. So I thought that was really interesting. I didn't even know that. <laughs> so it's something I just learned. And then you can buy it, and obviously. It's probably going to make your money lower and take it out of your vault. So it's like a little bank. So there is an NPC, and I believe that will be all, unless you want to, of course, add a bunch of other items, which you can add all kinds of different things. Even food you have. You could have a whole different food vendor, different vendors for each little place. Now, there is a way to set this up for players, but you have to get the permission set up. And that could also take some time, and you can make it where they can have their own traders, but of course they'll have to restock. But, that is pretty awesome. So, this will be for all, so thanks for watching. Check out my other videos. Meow. Meow.